recovering after a shooting that happened Friday in Huntington. Police say the man's injuries are non-life threatening. As News Channel 3's Matt Lackridge shares, he spoke with neighbors in the area who say they heard multiple shots fired. The remnants of police tape still surround the corner of 28th Street and Davis Street in Huntington. Huntington police say Friday night a 37 year old man was shot in the leg and taken to the hospital. Even though he's going to be okay hearing that someone got shot, that's like a real, that's a very real thing. Denise Crawford and Elena Bradley live just down the street from where the shooting happened and say they heard five gunshots fired. It just sounded super close where our window is mm -hmm. just right on the street. Um, so I shut the window really quick. My cat was in the window, so I had to push him down. Um, and then I ran upstairs and I started talking to her. I was like freaking out a bit and I started like, I could feel my heart racing. Another neighbor I spoke with who didn't want to go on camera says that this whole area was blocked off for quite a while and they saw Huntington police, state police, an ambulance and other authorities. Police say they are investigating the shooting, but so far no arrests have been made. This isn't the first shooting in the area. On April 5th, there was a shooting in the 700 block of Markham Terrace, just a few blocks away. The second time, the fact that it happened like a week later, that's what was like definitely way more concerning. I was like, oh my God, this just happened. It somewhat makes you feel unsafe. Um, I mean, it's not like I go walking down the streets or anything, which I honestly have no intention to because it's just scary, but I feel like it's almost like, wow, that really happened. Hitting close to home, for these neighbors, leaving them on edge. Matt Lackritz, WSAZ News Channel 3, Huntington. Anyone with information is being asked to contact the Huntington Police Department, and we do have that tip line number for you over on our WSAZ.